Wow, look at this thing raised in this tank. Beautiful thing raised. I want those um, those Chinese high fin fish. Apparently, they eat algae. Mm -hmm. That's the one he's trying to sell me now. Yeah. Three grand, right? These ones, the one with the high fins. Apparently, they eat algae. They're really good in ponds, and they cost. He quoted a uh, one eighty. Uh, look at this platinum. Oh, this this platinum fish is unreal, man. I don't even know what that is. Let's see. It's, it's a dorado, platinum dorado. This one. It is a platinum though. Oh my god, that platinum dog is gorgeous, man. I'm a little bit concerned with getting these guys, you know, they're kind of like um, really sensitive and, and they have sensitive spines, they also have curved backs. What's your experience with these guys? Any of you got any platinum guards? I'd like to know in the comments below. Stand like this. Huh? What kind of just bring me a tank like this? Yeah, they can. Oh, but it looks like rather ugly. You can see everything inside. I don't mind that. Yeah, I'm These guys are amazing. They're unbelievable bumblebee groupers. They actually need a bit of salinity. I think it's 0.1 salinity. They're unbelievable fish. Apparently, they're super responsive. They eat tons. I'm tempted, but I'm a little bit scared of the salt thing. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe one day. I know you guys love these Phoenix barbs. Many of you keep these fish as kind of like a secondary fish to the main attraction. Like, I've seen them a lot with arowanas, um, a lot with beautiful platinum catfish or albino showpieces. Um, let me know your experience keeping these phoenix um, phoenix barbs because I've never actually kept them before. Check out this piece. That's an albino one, I think. It's kind of rare. Check out these gorgeous flower horn. Like, most of you know, I started off the predator hobby with these beautiful fish. Look at how look at the patterns and the coloration. These guys are all gorgeous babies, and now they're selling so cheap. You can get some of these beauties for like forty US dollars. In the past, it was at least double, triple the price. Man, look at look at this guy, man. This guy's ridiculous, and he's only selling for this guy is only like twenty five US dollars. So that's that's insane, man. So I was just shocked to see the quality. These are some um, albino pattern. I think a lot of people like to keep these guys because they're non-stop swimming in the water. Crazy fish. And they look stunning when they're huge and fully grown. And they also can be eaten. Actually, they're pretty tasty. I like to eat patin. Don't judge me, I'm Chinese. Look at these beautiful koi that they display in these glass tank fibers. Um, man, these are a mixture of Kohaku, Showa, beautiful koi. And they look like they're from Japan as well because I can tell the quality is uh, nothing like local koi. They look super good. 
<clears throat> and I love how you can they, they show the full body of the coil so you can check the sores and all that. You can see they're all in perfect condition. Beautiful finish. And man, this 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 place, if you look around, check out the tanks. These are some beautiful, beautifully sized golden lampam fish, which is basically the barbs. The albino barbs. And man, the water quality in this, this fish shop is unbelievable. Can't wait till mine grow this big. These are some of the albino barbs that I just bought recently with my silver albinos. Check out these bat angel fish. They're huge. Unbelievable fish. And look at these albino paku, man. I was so tempted to pick these guys up, but man, I just wasn't anywhere near my house, so I, I couldn't get them. But <coughs> maybe one day I'll get these albino pakus roaming my pond. They look super cool. What beautiful fish. Only selling for 20, about 20, 25 US dollars each. Not expensive at all. These guys are beautiful. Check out these parrot fish. I actually haven't seen these like yellow parrots before. Unbelievable. Beautiful fish. And these ones are selling for like 3 US dollars each. Crazy, man. Look at the choice of fish. Some bigger parrots here. The red is so intense. Ah, uh, for you monster lovers here, Arapalmas, baby. Looking good, beautiful coloration, perfect bodies, well fed. Like, this is definitely a fish shop I would buy from because I know that the fish are healthy. Fish are begging for food. They look super, super strong and thick, so you, you know it's all good. And here for a little bit less money, you can get even tinier Arapama. But guys, from my experience with Arapama, it's better to spend a little bit of money and get the bigger ones because they can be a bit uh, touch and go at the beginning. They're quite sensitive when they're young. Look at these beautiful black King Kong Texas cichlids. Wow. These guys make beautiful for ponds, for tanks, showpieces, man. Check them out. Now look at these gorgeous stingrays, beautiful water quality, man. If I were going to buy a stingray, probably from this shop, just because of the water quality alone. I love how that they, they show you the feeding. So you can see that they're eating chopped up prawns here. All the tanks are being fed. The stingrays all eating, munching. You know they're healthy. Wow, beautiful, beautiful colorations on these bad boys. And I am going to go to stingray soon. Maybe one day when I get a tank. Because, man, I feel like stingrays, I mean, they're good in ponds. It's kind of scary when you swim in, but they got to be in tanks to be showpieces. If you have a big enough tank, of course. Wow. Look at those colors, man. Unbelievable fish. You can best be sure I'll be back for more, boys. Yeah. After SA Fish World, I head over to Xianlong and check out these albino blood Oscars. Man, these are the reddest Oscars I have ever seen. Totally gorgeous. I mean... I'm not super into Oscars. I used to have a couple in my pond that I don't um, inherited from my aunt. But man, these guys are unbelievably red. I mean, I don't know if the camera does these guys justice, even in 4K. But um, hold on, in a second, I'll show you guys the normal Oscars to the right. Lemon Oscars. I mean, they're lemons, but you can compare the redness. Wow. These guys are super duper red. So I thought I'd show you guys just how amazing this quality of Oscar is. Of course, the main event in Xianlong, it's got to be the Arowanas. Look at these bad boys. That's a beautiful, I think Indonesian red or blood red <clears throat> Arowana with a silver Arowana at the top and a cichlid. I'm not really sure why they put them together, but I guess they're not fighting, so it's all good. Look at these show pieces. <clears throat> I know it's kind of mean, but one of the reasons why Asian shops always put uh, parrot fish with them is so that the Arowanas can let out their aggression and it, it apparently enhances their color. That's why I don't really like to do that, but I know a lot of fish shops do put uh, <clears throat> parrot fish with flower horns and arowanas to kind of enhance their color. Look at this bad boy. Wow, he is gorgeous. 16,888. And the reason why they call them Red Kings is not just because they're red, but because of the hump in the back. The extended hump at the back is kind of like a crown. So they call all of these arowanas the kings, and um, now I know that this it's the biggest the biggest craze now in the arowana hobby are the kingfish, and they they're worth thousands and thousands of dollars, seventeen thousand. I mean that's about over four thousand US dollars, which is a lot in Malaysia compared to our salaries. So I mean 
It's crazy. In this shop, it's funny because every fish tank has like a, a, a loan, loan, um, you know, terms for a loan because people literally have to take out loans to buy these crazy fish. Look at the prices of some of these bad boys. Wow. This is beautiful. This is one of those like violet fusion reds that looks purple. <clears throat> gorgeous, gorgeous fish. But I did notice that a lot of them, that you guys may notice, have, um, have drop eye. And I don't know if it's diet, genetics, but who knows. Look at this guy, for like a baby. It's already 14,000 ringgit. Look at the pronounced hump. That's why this guy is like a prime specimen, top quality fish. Beautiful. The hump is super pronounced. The color is intense. Wow, there's another one. Selling for about 4,000 US dollars as a baby. Insane. Almost as much as that big guy back there because he's better quality and he doesn't have drop eye yet. So you can tell like the prices really dip if you don't get a king. Like this is just like a normal red, it'll be a lot cheaper, but his color is so beautiful. Check that out boys. Ooh, I like this guy, he's really feisty. You want a feisty arowana because they're fun to interact with you. See how he really reacts to you? He doesn't run away. I like that. We need that in the fish. Now guys, I was super pumped when I found this tank of albino silver arowanas because I recently just bought mine. These are obviously a lot bigger than mine, they're about double the size and girth, but they're really, they're priced three times as much as what I paid for mine, so their price really goes up exponentially as they get bigger. Beautiful quality, I think mine look pretty similar, just a lot smaller. They're kept with one red arowana inside, not really sure why, but wow. I got really excited when I saw these guys. Look forward to the future where I can showcase my albino silvers as like showpiece tank mates. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Check them out. And I love how there's a lot of water flow. You can see Arowana's love swimming against the treadmill. So another guy here. But this albino got separated because you can tell his eye. He's got one drop eye which drops his value unfortunately. So they kind of just like keep him apart I think. Guys, for me, this is like the creme de la creme of the video, the cream of the crop, baby, the metal tiger shovel nose. Now, they call it metal, but from, I think they're just like basically albino slash platinum variants. And here, it's interesting that they keep them together with a normal tiger shovel nose in the middle and a normal red tail cat on the right. So you can really see the difference in the coloration, and which justifies the crazy high price. I mean, a normal tiger shovel nose in Malaysia is like, what, 50 bucks? And this guy's $3,000. So... He's literally like, I don't know, like 20, 30 times the price. It's insane, dude. And um, I'm sure it would have been cooler if it was such some platinum red tail cats. I definitely would have bought them, but uh, it'd be cool to show all the variants of the, my two favorite catfish. But man, this guy is just gorgeous. Like, even when you film it with a camera, he's just too bright to film. And below him, beautiful large stingrays. Oh, that's a dad boy chasing the archfish. Ooh, dang it. Beautiful giant stingrays. This place actually breeds a lot of stingrays, so they specialize in it. And you can see, like, I actually prefer to buy bigger stingrays because as babies, they're super sensitive as well. So, yeah, I totally get why people would buy big stingrays. Yeah. You see what I mean? Man, I gotta go back to filming this guy. I just couldn't get enough of him, man. He's insanely beautiful. The camera couldn't even really pick up his true color because he was so bright. So platinum that it was no, just, just looks like a giant ball of light. You know? It's unbelievable fish. I'm so tempted. Maybe it's one day. I mean, if that was a red tail catfish, I would have snapped him instantly. But it's so hard to no, find platinum red tails right now. Uh, I don't know. Even even if you offer like money, like people just don't have the stock. It's crazy. But this guy is super rare. It's actually the He's first friendly, one I've ever away. seen in real life. But I know Rod from Predatory good, Fins yeah. told me he got a couple from Thailand. So I don't know. Well, look at this bat. This is bat a huge stingray. bat stingray. Now some people think this is cool because uh, some I know some breeders actually cut them to make them look like this, but I'm not sure My favorite that's one true. The, so the I don't know. Maybe you guys should let me know in the comments. That's so nice. Yo, lastly, I wanted to show you guys favorite. these beautiful black diamond want to get stingrays. Stingray. Two pairs and one easy. giant big the boy in the middle so there. Wow. I mean, from the beginning, since I've saw oh, freshwater yeah. rays. These black diamonds have been among my favorites. I, I love the black pair. ones with the white spots, like all the variants. Beautiful, beautiful. And I know from a. Uh, the king just of like, DIY like, these that uh, these hands. guys uh, these guys pretty much grow to about 60 centimeters in that's diameter. what I did last time so, they didn't fight so if I do get stingrays it'll probably be one of these variants well, so it, it, usually the stay tuned for future videos you know nice. so they can't call the female
These are my favorite ones. Yeah, but you don't the know black how big diamond. Well, for now, you know, I guess.